My name is Jonas, I'm from uh, Mood Publishing, and uh, this is our um, game here at the convention. We had it on Kickstarter a few years ago, uh, and it's uh, Deep Rock Galactic, and it's based on the board game Deep Rock. No, uh, on the computer, on the team game uh, Deep Rock Galactic as well. In the game, you play uh, four different doors. It's a co-op game, and uh, the dwarves, they, uh, they get a mission uh, to go into these mines on this uh, deadly planet filled with uh, these fabulous critters of all sizes and uh, the, the, the basic game is that you land on this put your miniatures in and then you uh, get some more in and then you go around the board collecting the the different uh, morkite and uh, and gold the critters will come and attack you uh, and uh, one of the special things about this game is that you can drill in the in the game. So both the driller here, he can go in and he can drill. All the all the character can drill. But while you drill, you can alter the the game board. You go into secret passages, but you can also go different ways. So if you want to dig through and make new passages, you can do that, altering the the whole game board. Each character has different abilities. So the driller is really good at drilling he has a flamethrower as well um, you have a you have the ammo over here so you need to stock up on ammo during the game you have the health bar down here and every character has a, some a special set of dice for their weapon so you have start up with a primary weapon and a secondary weapon and you also have a ammo for the secondary weapon during the game you can overclock the weapons and you can also operate the different weapons so they get uh, like this so they get more range or more damage or stun damage um, in the game as well you have a uh, when you play the game there's this a uh, counter down here which uh, is the swarm counter so as the game progresses the swarm counter progresses every after each player's turn you draw a, oh here an event card and usually something really bad will happen. Sometimes something good will happen. And sometimes uh, when you reach down here, you reach a swarm, something really, really bad will happen. Uh, a new creature will emerge. Sometimes it's a big one. Sometimes it's a lot of small ones. Uh, and you have to go in, get all the objectives. That could be all of these different objectives in the game. Get all of those and all get out of the uh, get into the drop pod again. That's like the basic uh, loop of the game. Then you have, of course, for all the fans, of course, you have the Rock and Stone cards. All the Rock and Stone cards can be used at any time. You must yell Rock and Stone when you, uh, when you throw it down. Uh, and it helps all the other dwarves. It never helps yourself, but always helps the other dwarves. And you also have the, the drop pod you can do go down to get supply. Yeah, that was like the, the basic overview of the game. Uh, it's a game that we developed uh, closely together with, uh, with Ghost Ship Games. Um, so we've been friends with them for a long time and we uh, came to them a few years ago and asked if they, they thought it would be a good, a good idea to do a game and they, they loved the idea from the first get-go. And uh, we got the designer, Ole Steiners, uh, on, the, on the team as well. He's the designer from um, Champions of Midgard and he loved the idea and he's been playing the, the computer games for many, many years, and he, he really thought it would be fun. So we had a close relationship, uh, a, a mini play test, and uh, it's, it really, I think we were, at the get-go, of course, we knew it would be a co-op game, and it, from that, it just developed slowly. So the, the, the idea with the first game was that we wanted to do something that was pretty, like, you could play one night for like one and a half to three hours, depending on how long the mission takes, but we wanted it to be like a single mission, there's like a small mini campaign in the in the game, but it's not a it's not a long campaign. Uh, but we wanted this like a close to experience. And then for the new here, we are doing new biomes, new hazards, a lot of new creatures. And then we're also introducing the space rig. And the space rig, you get to get a lot longer missions. 
uh, more upgrades that you can keep during the game, so if from each mission, but each mission also becomes harder and harder as you play along. But but I think now we're going to see how this expansion go. See how I mean this is our first time in Essen. It's going really well, and people are really loving it. But we still need to see uh, see how it goes and see how many would actually back more expansion. How how more popular the game is going to be. But I mean there's so many so many other stuff that you could do in in the in the Steam game. So and I think the community would love it. But we we uh, yeah we'll we'll see. No promises. But okay. thank you so much. Thank you.